Reframing with Sandra Collins and Yevgen Yazinski. Yevgen, we were talking about um, work-related values and the ways in which you set high standards for yourself, partly to um, partly so you don't end up with a lot of work piling up, but also because you just have this inner kind of um, sense of responsibility around doing a good job. Yes, I think I'm just want to give the best of what I can offer. I can see the benefits of it too, but there is a negative impacts. Mm-hmm. Like so what that. are sorry, what are the negative impacts? Like the workload. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you end up feeling like um, you pick up these extra things because you can see that they need to be done, but then it makes the workload unmanageable. Yes, there's also another point on this when uh, there is things needs to be done or committees are formed and nobody wants to pick it up and I know that maybe I'm the best person at the time to represent the the group of people so I end up signing up for something that adds to my workplace plate and uh, to the current job so they take more and more mm-hmm. and it's become unmanageable yeah it, I mean it's certainly something I can relate to because I think I also um, tend to see the big picture like you and so it's easy for me to see things that need to be done and then decide to pick them up and find myself in a place where I feel then a little bit overwhelmed by it. Yeah, I also create the feeling when I know that I can do work better, but because I took so much, some of the barrier will need to suffer. Mm -hmm. And that's my problem as a I do believe that I'm kind of a perfectionist. Maybe not to the to the dot of this uh, description, but I hate when the students are starting to suffer because you need something else, and it's not even your job. Mm. So at the beginning, we were talking about. Actually, in the previous video, we were talking about the origins of some of these work values in your um, cultural upbringing. Um, And how does that word perfectionist fit with that, with those values? I think that word perfectionist is more of a, a personal trade but I do think there was a part of the like the family upbringing because my parents worked really hard to provide and that's kind of added to the personality Mm -hmm. trait but yeah some of the works so I did in Ukraine I was just told if you don't want to come in on Sunday which was the Monday to Friday jobs if you don't want to come in on Sunday that we have 100 people that want your job mm. so you kind of didn't have a choice and it's kind of gets and blood Mm -hmm. 
and you just keep going. Yeah, so these are well ingrained um, values, but also well ingrained ways of approaching work because of the experiences you had, um, both watching your parents work so hard and the kinds of positions you had in the Ukraine, which might be a little bit disconnected with um, some North American values around work. Oh, but, but I can speak clearly, but I need to work hard to change that, and I don't know if I actually want to change that drastically. Mm -hmm. I need to put some of them measures to not damage my health but so is there a way i wonder to think differently about that word perfectionism are there other words that kind of resonate for for you from your cultural heritage that have a more um, empowering tone to them than perfectionism i like the word responsible mm -hmm. because it has probably less of a connotation than perfectionist mm -hmm. and and who are you responsible to when you use that word responsible who do you who do you have that sense of responsibility to um since we're talking about work it's probably students mm. is number one because i was a student just recently then i i hate when you have to wait a few days to get a simple sentence and reply or even if somebody can't help you you have to wait two days to know that they can't help you. Mm -hmm. So I wonder what it would be like if you, in those times when you, when that um, word perfectionism kind of came up, if you um, were able to think about it in terms of responsibility to students, how would that shift kind of your approach to the work tasks or perspective on them? Interesting question. Maybe that I don't have to rush. Mm. And maybe I don't need to do things perfectly. Mm. So when you're looking for a response, for example, from someone else in the role of, when you were in the role of student, um, you weren't necessarily looking for perfectionism. You were looking for something different there. What were you looking for? Just an answer. And I usually look for at least a direction, not mm -hmm. the perfect 20 page answer that will tell me detailed instructions mm -hmm. so it's usually direction mm -hmm. rather than point by point things that part of them i already know and part of them i just need to find out or look somewhere else so that kind of um, initial direction then empowered you to carry on on your own and figure out what you needed to do as a student. Mm 